This week on The Ross Report, I traveled to Bloomington, Indiana to catch up with America's best distance swimmer, Zane Grothy. Grothy is coming off the best year of his career where he won the gold medal in the 800 free at the Pan Pacific Championships and won a silver in the 1500 and bronze in the 400 free at the same meet in Japan. Grothy is 26 years old, having graduated already from Auburn University in 2014. So how is he still finding improvements so late in his career? I think it's a combination of things. I'm just kind of a late bloomer. I knew that was kind of coming down the pipe from my parents. Both of them were involved in athletics, whether it was like running or cycling or something. So my dad said he was running his fastest marathons and stuff when he was 30. And I was like, well, that's a long ways, but if it's coming, then it's coming. I always tell everyone, I went to a sprint school, you know, I went to Auburn and everything, but I, it's not that I didn't get anything out of Auburn. I definitely learned how to swim freestyle. You know, I've made a lot of technical adjustments that, you know, it, it really made my stroke efficient and it, it, it set it up so that I could hold a lot of water but I wasn't strong enough to pull it. And now knowing how to swim freestyle, it's paying off with, with the strength gains. After graduating from Auburn, Grothy originally moved to Tallahassee, Florida. After seeing no improvements in his swimming after a year, he almost gave up the sport completely. We're almost within a year now of the Olympic trials and I've gone nowhere. We've gone backwards, so that's when it really hit me. But what was it that brought him back to swimming? The late bloomer kind of thing was in the back of my mind. I was like, you know, I should be getting faster. I, you know, I'm training better. I'm getting stronger. Why am I not getting the results? And I, and I kind of reflected back on the training I had at Auburn too. I was like, maybe I've been right all along. Maybe I'm just not getting the volume I need to be that distance swimmer. So how did Zane exactly end up at IU? He called up one of his longtime friends from the Las Vegas area, IU breaststroker Cody Miller, who helped recruit Zane to Bloomington. All four years of college, I'm telling Cody, I'm like, man, all we do is sprint stuff. And he's like, man, all we do is distance stuff at IU. We're kind of recruiting each other. So when it got to that moment where I had nothing to lose, I called him and said, hey, put your money where your mouth is. I like your team. I, you know, I hang out with guys on your team and we're friends. And if the coaches have a spot for me, I'd like to see what your program is all about. Grothy is one of many postgrads training at Indiana, but feels like a part of the undergrad team in Bloomington, saying his philosophy with being around a college team is to treat it like it is his freshman year. When I walked into Auburn, the juniors and seniors had national championship rings, and they had a standard of like, hey, we're going to win again, so you need to score points as a freshman. So I kind of hold myself that standard. The, the, the mindset I had, I got to prove to these seniors I'm worth you know, being on this team and just work that hard. If they're switching lane lines, I'm switching lane lines, and you know, I'm the first one to start picking up equipment and work hard. You know, if there's extra yards to do, I'll you know, jump right on it. I wouldn't say I'd hate training in just like a pro group. Like it might get stale, maybe the mindset or whatever, maybe complacency might end up in a, a situation like that. Just being in an environment where everyone's so hungry to prove themselves and to be worthy of scoring points for a team, it definitely helps my mindset as well. On this day that I visited, Grothy was training primarily with current freshman Michael Berniger, one of the U.S.'s rising distance stars, to which Grothy had nothing but good things to say about. He's one of the guys. He's so hungry and ready to just prove himself. He, he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with me in practice. He ain't afraid of anything. It's a big personality trait he's got, and I really like that. We'll step up on any set, and sometimes he'll kick my butt. It's probably exactly what I need for this next couple of years coming up is someone to be like, hey, like you have no room for complacency because someone's right here ready to take you down. Grothy is leading a new renaissance in USA men's distance swimming with the likes of Olympian Jordan Wilamowski and current Florida freshman Bobby Fink. All three of them were under 1450 this summer in the 1500, placing them in the top eight in the world, which says good things for USA Swimming moving forward. It was really cool. Someone pointed it out, finally realized, I was like, wow, that's pretty significant for the United States. That's awesome. And to be a part of that, it was kind of surreal. But yeah, the future's bright. And, you know, I'm, I'm hyping up both Jordan and Bobby, you know, on the sides. Like, hey, man, you, you're on top, sitting on top, blah, blah, or telling Bobby, hey, Bobby, drop another five seconds. You're putting pressure on all of us. I'm just trying to fuel those guys up because I know it'll, it'll push me as well. Grothy knew he was due for a big drop in the 1500 this summer. And when he finally broke 15 in the early heats at Panpax, he knew it would light a fire under Fink and Wilamowski in the final. Both me and Robert Fink knew that it was make or break to make that world's team with those swims that we were doing and I knew I was gonna have a big drop. I wasn't satisfied with that, that swim at Nationals and I knew it was coming. Um, I wish I would've had a race like those guys did. I threw it out there and honestly, Robert surprised probably a lot of people who surprised me. I really didn't think after one drop at Nationals he'd be dropping a ton again, but he, he manned up, he did it, and it was really cool to see how close it was. Grothy's next meet is this week's Short Course World Championships in China, a meet he has pretty high goals for. I think publicly I'll keep that to myself. 
whether I make it or break it of those goal times. But yeah, I definitely got a really big goal. I'm really looking forward to. I've been I've been planning this out since probably earlier this year. You know, early 2018, like I did last year. Coaches remind me, hey, you gotta you gotta pan packs me. And, you know, in the middle of summer, focus on long course too. Just plan that seed in the back of my mind, knowing that if I can make that 400, make that 1500, maybe make a relay, like what I need to be gearing towards, how to how to hit the paces, what the race strategy might feel like, and really setting things up long time coming. Last December, Zane had big goals for the U.S. Winter National Championships, and at that meet, he scorched a 407 in the 500-yard free, a new American record by over a second. And for an encore, he swam a 1418 in the 1650, smashing the American record by four seconds. This past summer, he said he was going to drop a huge best time in the 1500. And uh, this year, I'm going to drop a huge best time. And he dropped 12 seconds off his best time. So when Zane says he has big goals, you know he means business. 